just came outside because I couldn't bear starting another vlog on my bed. Though I'm gonna go back in there now, just keeping it real. But I thought I'd just give you a change of scenery. This is a, a chair that sits out the back and I thought, oh, it might be nice to sit out here. <sighs> I guess it's shaded. <laughs> I'm starting a new vlog, I'm starting a new book. I've wanted to read this for ages and it came out on the Women's Prize for Fiction long list and I thought now is the time to pick this sucker up. So I'm going to um, spend some of the afternoon reading this. I have to interact with my family I suppose. But yeah, what's this about? Newlyweds, he's a business exec, she's an artist, settling into the routine of life together, ripped apart by circumstances. Roy's arrested and sentenced to 12 years in prison for a crime that his new wife didn't know he committed. Hmm, what's Roy done? Okay, he's in prison. Can she hold on to their love? Roy's conviction suddenly overturned and he returns to resume married life. But then she doesn't know whether she wants to stay married. Love story. Profound look into hearts. Here we go. Hi, it's Sunday morning and we all know that the only time I get to read on the weekends is before they wake up, the children, and when the, ch the husband takes the children to the skate park, which he's done now and I've finished my cleaning. So I'm going to get stuck into this. I am page 30. I've just hopped on to my first um, chapter of Celestial. So this is a book about um, a married couple. There's Roy and there's Celestial. And each chapter alternates between Roy's point of view and then Celestial's point of view. So something's going to go down. It really is. And I'm just waiting to see what it is. So I'm already intrigued. I'm already loving the writing, really loving the writing. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to sit and read this. Also, I should be having a shower and stuff, but I'm still in my pajamas and it's, you know, 10 o'clock in the morning, whatever it is. But I don't care. <laughs> Okay, um, maybe I should give you an update on my book. Hang on. Right, so I have put down the ukulele. This is what I'm reading, remember? It's now, what day is it? Wednesday? The something? Maybe like the 13th? I don't know. I have had sick children since last Wednesday. I have had children home with me. Paddy went down sick. He finally went back to school yesterday. And on Monday, Fitzy got sick, so now he's home with me. Um, 
kids. Yeah, so I've been attending to sick kids, so reading has not been the top of the list. But Fitzy's getting better, and I can read some more if I put down the ukulele. <laughs> I'm not naked, by the way. I have a dress on. It's really super hot here at the moment. Okay, I'm halfway through around about. Um, I don't know where we're up to um, in terms of what I've been telling you. I am up to the part now where Roy has just been released from jail and he got a letter from his wife saying she doesn't want to be his wife anymore and she's hooked up with one of their closest friends and so now Roy has just gotten out. His father picked him up and now he is sort of hanging out in his old town and then about to get in touch with Celestial, his wife, I guess. And she doesn't know that he's out because he got out earlier, yada, yada, yada. There was this exchange of letters which made up most of Roy's time in jail, maybe all of Roy's time in jail. So it wasn't kind of him talking about his day to day. It was just him writing to Celestial and her writing back and how the tone of those letters changed from really loving, I miss you, I need you, I can't wait to see you, to Celestial kind of doing her own thing, moving on with her life, building her career and sort of moving away from visiting and then finally saying, I don't want to be your wife anymore. That was a really interesting way to chart that progression and I really liked it. I'm not really into those stories where it's back and forth letters. That sometimes annoys me, but um, I really liked how that was done in this book. It was it moved the story along five years really quickly and it conveyed everything that needed to be conveyed. It was very cool. Um, now we're back into chapter by chapter from each person's perspective and Andre, the new fiancé of Celestials, is, um, he's got a perspective too. Um, it's great. I really enjoy it. I'm intrigued by it. I want to keep reading. <laughs> One thing I do love is the different ways that this author describes marriage. Um, one that I highlighted, and there's more in here, I just have to find them, but one is marriage is like grafting a limb onto a tree trunk. Um, you have the limb freshly sliced, dripping sap and smelling of springtime, and then you have the mother tree stripped of her protective bark, gouged and ready to receive this new addition. That's from Celestial's point of view, and it's really interesting. Um how each different person describes marriage at the different stages throughout the book. So I really enjoyed that. One thing I thought was quite bizarre was Roy meeting his biological father in jail. He was a roommate of his and Roy's biological father knew he was coming in, paid off someone to arrange that he was in the cell with him. We never really find out any more than that. Their relationship isn't fleshed out because that time in jail is is letters between Roy and Celestial um, and Roy kind of describes to Celestial his father and things like that but it's not really fleshed out you know that oh my god he's my biological father oh my god I have so many questions you know and, and whether that relationship built and grew to love over the five years I don't know that Roy's gotten out he's gone back to the man who raised him his real father um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting how that was just kind of thrown in there. And I don't really know what purpose that was thrown in there for. Whether that was just to show that Roy was protected in jail. I don't really know. So I found that little subplot a bit bizarre. But maybe that'll come to light later on. I'm enjoying it. I have no time to read it, basically, is where we're at. My lovely son and I are going to spend the day together. My mum shows up this afternoon. She's here for a few days. I've got a wedding on the weekend. Maybe I need to finish the American marriage before I go to the wedding. That would be a good idea. But I'm just kind of into this right now. This is what I spend my spare time doing while Fitzy plays with Pokemon cards. It's, um, it's nice to chat to you again. Sorry I've been missing, but really my days have been putting kids in and out of the shower, monitoring temperatures and burning oils and sitting beside them and reading and playing cards. Not much fun. I'll talk to you later on when I've read some more. Hi, this is going to be a really disjointed vlog, and I'm sorry about that. But I've had sick kids, and I've still got sick kids. So, yeah. In between all of that, I have finished An American Marriage. And here comes another unpopular opinion. 
I gave this three stars in the end and I thought about the four stars, but in the end I couldn't do it. Um, the reason I only gave this three stars was I just disliked Roy so intensely. I disliked the cliche of Celestial hooking up with Andre so badly. I was interested in the injustice that came about by him getting locked up you know for no reason actually it was interesting that nobody really cared about him getting locked up when he was innocent like they just accepted their fate as black people in the american legal system maybe that's what it was but i thought that was bizarre that she didn't stand up and fight that she just gave up and just started pursuing her own dreams and i guess that's because she wasn't invested in the marriage because roe was an ass but i don't know there were lots of paths that i would love to have gone down with this but it just it was like every time something interesting came along, the author just stopped <laughs> and, and went on about something that I found completely boring, like the backstory about Andre and his father. That whole process of Andre remembering what happened with his father and all that sort of stuff, like seriously, was not, was not needed in the story. No, I didn't, I didn't find the evolution of the marriage interesting. I found it cliche. There was so much more that could have been done with this, I think, for me. That would have interested me much more. So another thing that I found really annoying, <laughs> annoying is the wrong word, another thing that confused me was that the time that Roy was in jail was just, we flew through that, and that was just the letters between Roy and Celestial, right? So I thought that there was a reason that we flew through that because the main focus was on them, on Roy hashing out who he was as a person outside of the jail and of them fleshing out where they stood with each other and what feelings had cropped up from him being in jail and how they had to assess their marriage. But that didn't happen at all. So then we get to when Roy gets out of jail and we hear from Andre, who I don't care about. I do not care about. I'm interested in the marriage. I'm interested in how they flesh things out now that Roy's out of jail, how they flesh out the fact that he was locked up when he was an innocent man, how that must have played with his mind, how he met his biological father, how he had to deal with the fact that he wasn't there when his mother died, how he had to look at his wife being a successful woman and being really empowered and how that made him feel. We had to look at her and how she felt about, you know, the fact that her husband got locked up when he was an innocent man how she kind of went on with her life and left him behind and why did she do that what what was she unhappy in her marriage make her face up to all of these things i mean there's so many paths this could have gone down but kind of we raced through the jail and we got to the end and then roy was like this crazy dude that you know went around beating people up and then yeah it just you know being totally selfish i don't know it just missed the mark for me so I'm sorry if that's an unpopular opinion. I know that lots of people love this book. It's a three-star book for me. That's kind of all. I'm a bit bummed because I did really want to read this. I feel like I'm saying that a lot. <laughs> Hopefully in the next vlog with the next book, it'll be something a lot more interesting and something a lot more exciting. I think I'll need to go on to a Stella Prize book next. Ooh, what will it be? I don't even know. Anyway, thanks for reading An American Marriage with me. Sorry for the crazy vlog. I'll do better next time without sick children. Let's hope. Okay, bye.